Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. According to Chang Wadae, President Moon Jae-in discussed cooperation on COVID-19 vaccine development with Richard Hatchett, the head of the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations. President Moon said South Korea will aim to produce its own vaccine with homegrown technology to prepare for future epidemics beyond the coronavirus. Hatchett responded that the CP views cooperation with South Korean firms, including SK Bioscience, as very valuable as the country is well known as a science and technology hub. Environmental experts pointed out it was not urgent enough to convert industrial use urea to vehicle use urea water if the recovery of the supply chain is underway. Experts say that there are risks in changing one type of urea to another. According to the National Institute of Environmental Research, no problems were found when industrial use urea was used on diesel-fueled vehicles. However, some critics say it can affect the environment and the vehicle itself in the long term. The Environment Ministry stated that they will conduct additional tasks to check if it is safe to use industrial use urea for vehicles within this week. Myanmar's military authorities announced the country's detained leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, will be charged with electoral fraud in last year's general election. She is one of the 16 members who were accused in the involvement of such illegal actions. Suu Kyi is currently facing 11 criminal cases, which nearly add up to 100 years in prison. She might be sentenced to additional years in prison if her recent allegations are proven to be true. Finally, Seoul City announced that water meters that are frozen and damaged should be fixed and paid by the owner starting this winter. The amendment ordinance stated that if a water meter is damaged or frozen during a cold wave, the owner will have to bear the cost. The main reason for such damages was because of the lack of thermal insulations and long outings. Seoul City will provide insulations or covers for water meters to 340,000 households and will also install 9,000 water meters that can endure temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius for 24 hours within this month. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we have an extended discussion on South Korea's import dependency on China.